Hello, everybody. I decided I was going to get the rest of these large trucks down. I have 14 of them left. The ones that we have posted up on eBay have already sold. These are uh, like 70s and 60s. Uh, these little Max, and there's also a uh, there's also a uh, Texco in there. And these over here are Kenworth and International. Uh, so anyway, try not to make this one too long. There's 14 trucks here that I'm going to show you guys today. And this is all that I have of these larger ones. So we'll go ahead and get started over here with... These are Precision Collectible First Gear. This is a 1959 International RF200 die-cast metal. It's a uh, tractor-trailer replica with a 35-foot replica trailer. Anyway, let's get into them and just start going. These are all going to be die-cast and, well, I'm not sure about the Texaco. But we'll see when we get to it. All right, so here's the first one. Let's find out how they open. All right. Okay, so the first one is uh, Union Pacific. Seems new. All of the, uh, all these should have the little mirrors and the horns and uh, the spare tire uh, underneath. If there's anything missing in there, I'll point it out. But here's the uh, trailer on it. Be specific. Ship Union Pacific. The little spare tire goes in this little holder right here. and uh, All these are going to have rubber tires. I'm going to try not to say that on every single truck, but just really beautiful rollers. Little mud flaps move and uh, it says caution, stay back, nice little detail on the lights, and the side lights, turn signals. This one has something, something stuck to it here. But anyway, this is the trailer. Oh, something. Oh, the mud flap. Mud flap slip up. Let's see. This even has a little tilting lock for the trailer to slide in. Yeah, it really locks in there nice. Okay, so that's the first one. Little Union Pacific tractor trailer Getting them back in there might be a trick. I hope not. I have to start this video over. Even has a little hood emblem on there. I didn't notice that. Steering wheel, interior. Just like that. Need to load it in backwards. Might help. Hang in there. We'll get better as we get moving here. There we go. All right, so. Unbox them with the uh, 
small styrofoam on the top. All these had all these I had to uh, take out. They were in their they're in this packaging. Plus they came with the box. They were marked, but I figure all the boxes are the same size. So when we get them listed up there on uh, on eBay, all the details will be there. So we put our own numbers on them anyway. This one feels loose in there. This one is a 53 foot Kenworth Bullnose Co Tractor with a 35 foot trailer first gear. And they all say first on them. That's a pretty truck. Yeah, these seem like they haven't been open. 1-800-MY-BUDDY. Right on, right on. Sharing America. Some of these have like little imperfections on them. I don't know if that cleans up or not. I don't know if it's something from the uh, factory or if it's actually something they worked in on the scale. Nice little detail on the axles and the back doors don't open. Again, it has a little emblem there. Let's take a look at the tractor. Trucker buddy. Nice little drive shaft and tanks are complete. And these are, it seems like all these are going to have the uh, lock on them. Actually, it almost seems like this may lean forward. No, I'm not sure. I'll have to see if there's video on or something. I don't want to tear it up. This one, uh, let's see the lid. Let's see if it has the. Uh, mirrors and stuff in there yes it does all sealed in the plastic spare tire mirrors horns some small details so some assembly required and i'll show you the imperfections as we go through there as well I noticed from the video I shot yesterday that I was putting some stuff back in the wrong way. Some of the cardboard pieces and stuff. Try to be a little more careful today. Get it right. There we go. All right. I think we got ourselves a method. So that was a pretty good looking truck. I should mark something, piece of paper as I go through them, say what they are, but I guess it doesn't matter because they're gonna get photographed anyway. And mark them as we go. Put them up on the uh, web indiscriminately. Let's see, this has a little chrome piece and I'm sure it came out of this one looks like a little fog light or something I have to put that back in there I don't want to have any any missing pieces whatsoever they've been in these boxes for 40 years so open it and lose anything let's see yeah there's only one in there so this little fog light there, there we go yeah it goes in there okay
Probably gonna have to edit this video down a little bit because it's taking a while. <clears throat> I guess those of you who like to see the unboxing, it'll be all right. I usually don't do too much editing on these videos. Sometimes I, I'll overlap in there and stuff. I used to have a really nice video editing program called Pinnacle Studios. It had like 12 discs to it. Took forever to load and did pretty much everything, but now I just, uh, I just use an app basically to edit the video and put it up. I bought a GoPro 8. I haven't even opened it yet. This is or a 9. I've got a GoPro 8 strapped on me right now. The, uh, but it took that last video I put up took three and a half hours to load. So I can't imagine shooting one in 5K. Yeah, see, it'd be nice to know if these are all the same ones, if they're different advertisers on them. Yeah, and this one doesn't have the imperfections on it, but that's basically the same truck. So if I open another one that is a uh, 53 bullnose co-tractor, 35 foot trailer, I think that's the last one. I'm not sure. There's three of them. It's already got, it's already got little mirrors mounted on it. I don't know what the extra pieces are. But it comes with it, so... That's how it'll be shipped out. Little mud flaps on the front there too. Mud flaps on the back. Nope. Alright. So I'll check one more of these. Because I've got some of the same ones over here too. Uh, on these B61s. So, but some of them have stuff written on them. So maybe they are different. First gear. So I'll have uh, Michelle list that, the one that has the imperfections, unless that's just some kind of uh, grime or something from the factory that's on that truck. I just didn't want to try to clean it off right now. But I mean, they've never been played with or anything, so I don't think they've been scuffed up. This packaging is not the best shape. It's got some tape on it. Uh, they're pretty heavy. Yeah. Okay, so those are going to be... Uh, looks like it's going to be a multiple listing because these are all the same trucks. Oh, yeah. See, this one's got the... Uh, it's got those little round fog lights here and here. The horns on it. Let's see, is the stuff out of there? So maybe those are just little extra pieces to replace in case you break some of those little chrome pieces off. So maybe they're just extras. But yeah, there's some little like debris and stuff. Maybe that's how they put the tires on. A little grease. make sure Let's look at this one yeah same exact tractor trailer on that one there that's how you do it yeah this one has uh, the packaging just a little bit rougher I didn't think any of these were going to be exactly the same. It seems like a collector would try to get different. Uh, it would try to get different types of advertising on them if you're going to collect. But that's three of the same same one there. So we got three of those. Uh, let's see, Armstrong and Rhino. 
our registered trademarks of Perel Tire LLC. Mac and the Bulldog Design are registered trademarks owned by Mac Trucks Incorporated. This product is sold under license from Mac Trucks Inc. All rights reserved. It's a 1999 first gear from Iowa. See, it says, it says right there, 1999 first gear Inc. And it's uh, Piosta, Iowa, USA. But then it says made in China. So I don't know. It's it's confusing on these trucks. You know, I was told they were all uh, USA made. Now the chrome side mirrors and oh well, the ornaments are located in the uh, foam. So it's this one apparently the. Mirrors are not mounted on it, but let's find out. Let's take a look at this one. It's a little bit different. So there may not be 14 trucks. If I open a couple of these uh, model B61s over here, they have different things written on them. That one's a 1979 there on top. I'm going to open that one after this one. Let's see that truck. That's nine years old when that thing was made. There's all the little mirrors and chrome pieces and the spare tire. Looks like it's like in wax paper. Well, that's a pretty little rig. I like that old smokestack. I've actually seen these in my line of work. Has a little flip lock to lock the trailer on. Nice little detail on the plastic. For collectors that, uh, I mean, you can see the transmission and stuff in this one. So you could probably, um, you know, make it even better. Paint some of this stuff. Do a little work to it to make it, make it your own. Little lenses over the headlights. The mirrors aren't on there. Little step. I mean, all the way down to the, the tank lid. It's a good looking little truck. TC. Transcon. This one has a little imperfection right there. I don't know, maybe they weren't perfect products back in the day. Some imperfections on the top right here too, in the paint. I don't see a whole lot of them out there. Same little emblem there on the front. And this one has a very small little latch on it. Let's hook it up. Yeah, locks in there nice. Well, yeah. Almost looks like that hood opens. It's got the little hole there to put the, the uh, hood emblem in. Yeah, I'm not sure if they open or not. It just kind of looks like it. Pretty nice. All right. Let's go to the... All right, so these this is all that I have left of this scale. That's why I pulled them all in. This uh, These next ones are going to be a little bit smaller. It looks like from the package anyway. I'm not sure how I pulled that out of there. It goes this way. It goes in here. You can put a little chrome pipe all the way up for the smokestack. 
Pretty nice. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's right or not. I think it is. Yeah. So much easier when you put it in, right? Okay, so these uh, these are going to be a little bit different. Kind of looking forward to seeing that. 1979 truck up there. There we go. All right. A 1960 Model B61 Mack trailer truck, 134th scale, recommended for ages 10 and over. And it says 1994. First Gear, Inc. Looks like you got to put the mirrors on and the little hood ornament. Some instructions on them. Alright, so these are going to be a little bit different. Oh yeah, look at that. Overdrive. The magazine for American trucking. Overdrive. Let's take a look at this little unit. There's your you got your mirrors and some other small little chrome pieces. I think we had uh, I think we had one of these in the other video. It's a little single axle. Pretty good detail on there. I haven't found any of these in this nice packaging that uh, have any plastic tires on it. Just beautifully detailed. All the way down to the painted rims. Let's go ahead and take a look at the <coughs> trailer. Doors open. I have to get a magnifying glass and see what that is. It must be some kind of a electrical hookup. All the trailers seem to have it. They're little bitty hookups on. Place for the spare tire to be held in there for display. And this one has imperfections on it too. Again, I don't know what that uh, what that is. I have to look at it under a magnifying glass, see if it's actually scuffs or it looks like some kind of marks that when it went through the painting. Back doesn't open. Mud flaps. They really thought them out though, a lot of detail in them. Alright, let's put this one up. Not all of them have certificates either. Some of them have certificates, some of them don't have certificates. Let's 
but yeah, these other than the collectors that actually have these type of collectibles, I don't think anybody's seen them in a lot of years. It doesn't want to fit back in there. box and see if there is a certificate for it. Nope, no certificate. The Penjoys had certificates and uh, there's a few, there's some other, I haven't even gotten into the collections yet, but this is, this is a collection of its own also. Start moving these over here. I've got all the cardboard boxes that they come double boxed. I'll start stacking them over here. So that was the 1969. It's American made. American made buck knife. The American blades and the uh, and the Japanese steel and the German steel are my absolute favorites. I mean, this is as good as any razor knife. I picked this out up at, uh, actually at a truck stop out on the countryside when I was working. I just, I just like it. I don't even carry it. Okay, so here is a different type, a little uh, 1953 white 3000. Let's see. This is 134 scale, 1996 first gear, Iowa. So there's a few of these and a few of those. I'll open another one of those Max and that Texco over there. But they're all the same. There's no sense in opening all of them. This one's orange. It's got the mirrors. Looks like it has, it actually has two sets of mirrors. And there's no mirrors on the trucks. Spare tire. Let's take a look at the at the tractor. It's a single axle. Oh, I see. There's there are some certificates. It's on the inside right there. So I guess you just gotta cut these out. But yeah, you fill all that in right there. There it is. A little cutout certificates on these. Not a piece of paper. So there you go. This one has the pipe underneath it. Pointing down at the ground. A little flip. You can see through it. See inside the windows. Seats in a back storage area. The lights. It's kind of neat. I have to take a look at that one put together. I'm ready to pull this one out. There's an easier way. They're in there. Fall over. Not a lot of advertising on this truck. I 
those are just serial numbers and a pet number. Yellow Transit. Right on the front. Oh, this one is missing a mud flap. That's not good. I don't know if it was made that way. It's not in the packaging. Doors don't open. I don't know, maybe that's uh that's how it's made. Walks right in there. Now the picture shows that it has has the mud flaps on it, so I'm sure it's missing a mud flap. Might be under the spare tire, but I doubt it. But it's not in the packaging, so. Seems like those cabs would rock forward or something. I don't think there's little engines in them. Anyway, this one is missing a mud flap. We'll catch that and disclose that when we list it. But yeah, I don't I don't know if they were <clears throat> I don't know if they were perfect products anyway. Maybe they're at the factory, they're like Oh, this one came out without a mud flap. Pack it up and send it. I don't think anybody's going to notice it's missing a mud flap. Well, we noticed it. Don't break anything on it. Very well. There we go. All right, let's take a look at one more of these, like this one, so we can see if we just have doubles of them or not, or multiples. Which multiples does make it certainly easier for uh, listing them and. I'm not a collector, so it's not like I'm looking for the different ones. I mean, I enjoy looking at them. I don't think I'm gonna be out playing in the dirt with them anytime soon or creating a special shelf for them. I don't think you'll be able to complain to this company either that it's missing a mud flap because I don't think they're in business anymore. Let's take a look at another one of those. Let's see, I know I had two of them. There it is. Right here and see if it's the same one. 1953. White. Oh, well, this one's probably different when it says McLean on it. Let's take a look. Let's see if it's missing a mud flap. There's a certificate. Yeah, it's basically the same. It's uh, a red truck. I'm just curious about the uh, same windows on it. Just different, uh, just a different advertisement on it. But let's see if it's missing a mud flap. I'm just curious. No sense in opening them up all the way. Every one of them. Everything's still in its packaging, still taped down. So they're new. 
No, nope, this one has both mud flaps on it. So that other one is definitely missing a mud flap. So I'll probably discount that one. Maybe there's some model kits out there that you could get or possibly even just get some uh, plastic and uh, cut that mud flap. You know, those of you that are artsy, I'm sure it wouldn't be difficult to make a square piece of plastic and glue it on the back of the truck. But anyway, it's all the same. Still got to disclose it that it's missing a mud flap. I'd bought two brand new uh, radios in one lot that was never opened inside of a sealed clamshell. Uh, weather radios. I didn't think anything of it. You know, that uh, anything could possibly be wrong with it. But apparently the manufacturer had put the batteries in there. Uh, they sold pretty quick on eBay. The weather radios did. And we sent them out. And one person complained. And I think they sold for like $14. And uh, they called and they, or not called, they they emailed and said, hey, this this radio you sent me has corroded batteries in it. And I was like, oh, that's, that didn't have no batteries in it. That was brand new, you know. I thought, you know, scammer or something. And, uh, but no, the other person, the separate person bought the other weather radio and got a, got a message from them saying the same thing that had corroded batteries in it. So, I don't know, I just, I just prefer to open them all now. I mean, I'm not going to cut clamshells open, but I'm certainly going to try to look and see if I see any corrosion. But I just can't imagine manufacturers doing that anymore. Anyway, this is the Texco truck. It's the only one I have this scale. Collect all five Texco trucks within this Caldwell Oil Co. series. So I don't know which one's in here. There it is right there. The 1960 Mack tractor trailer. Caldwell Oil, Texas. Well, let's check it out. Says this has been inspected prior to shipment. Bob Toy Trucks. So this one only has two mirrors. The other one had two sets of mirrors in it. Looks pretty neat. Well done. We're gonna have to take a look at this one. I've got some other Texco stuff out there too. I've got some planes and and uh I had a couple of boats, but I think we just sold the last one. They actually ran off of a candle. A little, little candle in there, and they ran on steam. They were pretty old. They weren't worth much, but collectors wanted them. Pretty paint job on that. Little Texaco truck. Good detail. I mean, it looks just like the other one, though, that I'd opened over there, the uh, Model B61. Good looking. Well, I got it here. Might as well take a look at it. Products you can trust. Marfac lubrication. It's got the old oil cans on it. I can't remember what year I said this was. Both mud flaps on there. It says 347 on one of the mud flaps. It's got the little tilt on it. Uh, 
I can line it up. There we go. Oh. There we go. Well, that just sounds great. Uh, I know I told you I wasn't going to say anything about the rubber tires, but I mean, you can just feel the rumbling on this desk so heavy. Yeah, it's a good looking, good looking little truck. All right, let's move on to the next one. Yeah, so if this uh, next one I open is basically the same because they have serial numbers on them, so I probably won't uh, open the rest of them. Or maybe I'll cut the video and just take a look in there and see if they're all the same. There's no sense in looking. But I'm going to look at all of them anyway, just to make sure that, you know, we're not missing any parts or anything. Yeah, so I went ahead and cut the video. Uh, they're all the basically the same, these Model B61 tractor trailers. They just have different manufacturers on there. Uh, but they're all just absolutely beautiful. Uh, but there's no sense in uh, opening every single one of them. I just took a quick uh, glimpse through there. Uh, but anyway, uh, if you guys want to subscribe, that helped me out. Uh, I need to get so many hours of views and uh, so many um, subscribers so that I can go live. I tried to go live and I couldn't go live yet on the channel because we're just too new and not enough uh, viewing hours uh, anyway uh, my plan is to go uh, live with some auctions in the future so that's why I'd like to have that feature on there uh, with YouTube's rules and stuff so anyway if you feel like subscribing I sure appreciate it if not if you just want to hit the notification bell uh, you can see when these videos come out. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. I have some uh, more collections coming up uh, that are uh, 164 scale. These are the larger ones, and this is all I had in this lot of 350 trucks uh, of these bigger ones. I mean, that's what I got for you today. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, let me know if you uh, have any questions or anything in the comments below. Thanks.